Man. Okay, time for some email questions. Real Are quick. you ready? We've run out of time. Okay, yeah, go ahead. This is Glenn, or not Glenn. Let me Karen. see. Where's my first one? Here we go. Karen, who says, I have non believers in my family. Managing my trust fund as my mom set it up. If we're facing a crash or downturn, where can I safely invest my money? Um, the <clears> safest <throat> place that I know is to put your money in the kingdom of heaven. And when God is your partner, then all of a sudden good things happen. But uh, on earth, I am a firm believer in uh, master limited partnerships that uh, deal with uh, the transmission of uh, oil or gas or other products like mm -hmm. that. And they have been, uh, you look at Kinder Morgan, it's just been a standout in uh, enterprise products and some others. They pay six, seven, eight, nine percent regularly. And uh, uh, they've got good businesses. That's what I like. You say safe. I mean, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, in this world, there's nothing really safe except Jesus. Exactly. Right. What else? Okay, this is Mindy who says, My ex husband left in 2002. After a month or so, I filed for divorce because he left us in a financial bind. I was told no one could help make him help until I filed for divorce. I don't know if he cheated on me <clears throat> during our marriage, but it was bad by the time he left. <clears throat> I'm still single, but would love to be married again. I recently heard a sermon that if you remarry, you're committing adultery. I'm tired of being alone. My kids are all grown and married. Do I have to stay single and alone? I don't want, didn't want to be divorced. Felt I had no choice. Uh, well, uh, Mindy, the, uh, this is what's called the Pauline privilege. Mm -hmm. If the unbeliever uh, departs, the brother or sister is not bound in that case. And apparently your husband walked out on you yes. and uh, he hadn't come back. And so you, you, your divorce was merely an acknowledgement of what is already the facts on the ground. So in my opinion, uh, under the Pauline privilege, you're not bound to that marriage and you are free to mm -hmm. remarry. Just don't, don't do something stupid just because you just want to jump into a marriage. Right. But, <laughs> all right, go ahead. Okay, this is Glenn who says, I want to start tithing and giving to charity. However, I don't know of any good charities to donate to. So if you could please recommend some, I would really appreciate it. And how much do I tithe? Well, um, the tithe is, means 10 percent, and uh, that's, that's what it is. And that's to the work of the Lord. May I recommend Operation Blessing, which has a four-star rating with Charity Navigator, the very highest ratings, highly regarded. And uh, uh, I know what Operation Blessing does, and it, it blesses a lot of people all over the world.